Hi, my name is Jewel and I am a Hextra Youth Ambassador. I am in seventh grade at Elwood Middle School and I've spent this year learning about art at the Hextra Museum. When I first looked at Garden Party by Katie Morton, I noticed the level of detail that went into this artwork. The pen strokes are intricate, precise, and thoughtfully placed, even though there's a lot going on. I also noticed how the sparse color made my eyes jump back and forth, pulling my focus from one thing to another. Then I learned Garden Party was inspired by a piece called Tiny Rooms and Tender Promises by Jacob Hashimoto. Both pieces have high levels of detail that encourage the viewer to keep looking in. Katie Morton, the creator of Garden Party, wanted her viewers to dive into the art and inspect every part of it. For example, I can spot objects like a strawberry and a spool of thread, which seem massive compared to the animals. The piano's legs are made from old, burnt matchsticks, and the sheet of music has a musical staff written on each line. The animals are wearing old-fashioned clothes, like top hats and jackets with tails, and the mice up front are carrying tiny instruments, like a saxophone and a trumpet. There's even a lonely little critter sitting at the edge of the picture. Something I like about this artwork is that it makes me feel really nostalgic. The animals look like they're part of a storybook, one that I can't quite put my finger on. It reminds me of Peter Rabbit by Beatrice Potter or Frog and Toad. I'd also like to imagine what would happen if I stumbled upon this one day. What do you think would happen?